Hello, wonderful people. Justin here to talk about YouTube Shorts and the Light YouTube web component. So I've gotten a few questions, emails, texts, um, angry letters in the mail. And hey, Justin, how does one handle embedding a short? Well, turns out that if we take a look at the nature of this, this is actually a little bit more confusing than one would think. So here we're looking at the standard old web page that you may know and love. Um, from YouTube, here looking at about a video about bees, because who doesn't love bees? If I click the share button on this old magical Chrome, um, what you're gonna notice real, real quickly is that if I click embed, you see the embed, the short is embedded. So if you gave it a short ID for Light YouTube's web component, you indeed will get this behavior. You'll get the 16 by nine Chrome and the sort of world of things. Um, but the problem is, is that that's not what really people are talking about when they ask this question. They're really talking about the new interface that sort of comes along with the territory with shorts. So if we go ahead and open that interface and we sort of say, hey, magical shorts page, tell me my world. Uh, my world is this new UI. It's this 916. It kind of looks like all your other short video player apps uh, of today. And it's got some new fancy uh, playback Chrome that we don't have in the standard 16.9 player. But if we click share, you'll notice, hey, Justin, there's no embed there. And it turns out that there isn't actually no embed context whatsoever from this new interface. And as a matter of fact, the API apparently has no means to actually trigger this new internal UI either in terms of an embed, which leaves us with a bit of a quandary. So we have to sort of make some choices. And so let me show you the choices I've decided to make in terms of the way Light YouTube approaches these things. So. We're going to flip over here to the Light YouTube demo page. And you can see here a new short testing page, which is in the repo. Um, got some videos that I've done, nothing special. And we have a new attribute called short. And as you can see, just by looking at these things you see on the screen, you're saying, Justin, this is no different than what it does today. And you would be correct. In desktop mode, you're not going to see any difference because the 16.9 sort of shell interface is the way that YouTube does it today. Um, but the kicker is, is that we want something a little bit different. So we're going to pop open DevTools here and we're going to show you the mobile view. So I have a Pixel 5. Uh, I'm going to hit reload here and see if you can notice the difference. You will note that the video auto loaded and auto plays. And not only does it do that, it actually loops. And so this is very much a similar experience. Uh, to the mobile interaction of YouTube Shorts is that they auto load, they loop, um, they typically start muted, and you get this effect um, that is very similar to the nature of the way YouTube does it when displaying Shorts. Not in an embedded context, because again, we don't have that. But this gives you some notion. And again, there's some secret sauce behind the scenes here that makes this work. It uses the post message to the iframe to get it to autoplay because we can't use autoplay. Um, it doesn't work on mobile for various web platform reasons. Um, we do do some other tricks like the playlist trick that creates the loop, otherwise it will not loop as well. And this gives you again, a very performant experience without any additional weight. We're not loading the frame API um, to do that at all, um, which means we don't have to carry the weight, um, which means we can keep you to light YouTube very, very fast. So this is how we're gonna approach it on the get-go. Hopefully you'll build interesting stuff with it. If you have questions, do leave me a note on the tracker, or send me an email, and I hope you have a wonderful start to your week.